everybody, this is Praxis, and I know I haven't done a video lately, it's not because I haven't been working, I've actually been doing a lot, but it hasn't been stuff that I thought was really particularly interesting, like a lot of what I've been doing is just been doing grout work in the bathroom downstairs, getting some grout in, you know, you all seen that before in the series. I've also been doing a lot of security stuff for the house, getting ready for this wonderful dark winter that everybody's talking about. I, so I've been doing a fair bit of that, but you know, I don't share that stuff here on the channel for obvious reasons. But one thing that I can share with you guys today is a form of protection, but it's uh, protecting trees, protecting the orchard trees. Uh, over here, if you can cast your gaze to the left, there's a Granny Smith apple tree. Uh, we've got a lot of apple trees back here. There's some uh, honey crisps over there, some Fuji's back here, some other Granny Smiths. If you're ever planting your own orchard, I've read from reliable sources, so I've never tested this out myself, it's a good idea to plant uh, different varieties of trees near each other for proper pollination. If you think about the way genetics of apples work, uh, every variety of tree is kind of like an individual. Uh, so uh, I guess if you had two Granny Smith trees pollinating, it'd be kind of like having sex with yourself, which sounds like a bad idea. So um, it's a good idea if you're planting an orchard, have you know lots of different varieties. So I've got it set out that way. And the way that I want to protect them here for the winter starts right down here. Uh, this is a little plastic collar. Uh, it is a, uh, a little wraparound thing. It's like kind of like a mesh. I'm going to put a, a link in the description below to these. I, I think these are pretty good ones because um, they can get set up in different ways where they can be wider or taller and they kind of snap in with each other. They're kind of nice. Uh, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, last year I had a couple of trees that had uh, rodent damage. I think it was a rabbit because there were some rabbit poops nearby. Uh, just uh, chewing off the outer kind of cambium layer from the tree. They got hungry in the middle of the winter and you know you can eat you know certain types of barks. They were doing that and while my heart goes out to these cute little bunnies, I don't want them destroying an entire tree for one meal. So I've gotten these uh, collars for all the trees. Now again, I, you know, it adds up if you're doing it that way. Each of these collars, is, it's only three bucks per tree. And if you think about it, the amount of money you spend buying a tree and all the time you invest in getting it going, I think it certainly makes sense to, you know, spend an extra three bucks and have a nice collar that'll keep it safe. But that said, I've got 30 trees here, so it was almost like a hundred bucks to get them all collared and protected, but I totally think it's worth it. You know, you put in so much time and uh, uh, finances into getting your orchard, you don't want the thing to get destroyed by, you know, some rabbits eating the bark off. So I've done those. I, uh, so far, it's so good. I, I, I like how they're versatile, and again, i got a link down in the description if you want to try out these particular types, but there's all different types as well. Uh, the other thing I'm doing today is protecting these guys. Uh, these are some peach trees. Um, these are from seeds of an heirloom peach variety that I got from my old homestead. I brought it down here, dropped uh, five, uh, five different seeds, started sprouting. I got one here, one here. There's a couple more in the pots over there. And what I'm doing for these guys, I'm going to keep them in the pots for this season. And what I want to do to protect the roots from the cold is kind of get them, get them into the ground just, just a little bit. Get them... Get them in there so like the, uh, the cold's not uh, hitting the roots quite as much. So just taking these guys, I'm digging into this, this soft pile. This, uh, this pile here is some debris that was like extra fill that was left over from the excavator people. Uh, they left it here and I can use it to like patch holes and stuff. Eventually I think I'm going to put some, probably put some trees over here too once I, uh, I finish up with this. But for now it's just a really nice soft dirt that I can use to uh, temporarily uh, protect these guys for the winter. I've never tried this before, but it just kind of makes sense to me, so I figured I'd kind of share it with you guys. Uh, that, uh, you know, just, just getting some thermal mass around these things should help to, uh, you know, protect them from, uh, you know, having their roots freeze or whatever. Although, I, you know, the whole thing is going to freeze. Around here it freezes, you know, it gets cold enough to freeze a couple feet down into the ground. So, I don't know, it's kind of a precaution that I'm taking just to protect him. Even though here in New England, as you can see, this is how I roll. You know, this is how we all roll. <laughs> It'll be like snowing out here. I'll be out here in my like shorts and slippers, shoveling snow. <laughs> that's just how we do it here. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I'm, I'll probably be doing some more videos coming up. We're going to be getting the solar stuff is coming together. We're putting some uh, mechanical timers on our solar hot water system because now in the winter, these panels are not, a, they're definitely not going to be able to take care of all of our, our hot water heating needs. So I'm going to be putting a, a timer on the hot water, fill, uh, uh, the hot water backup so that, uh, it, you know, we can just keep, there's a lot of things coming, a lot of things coming here in this series because we got a lot of uh, stuff to get ready again before this wonderful dark, dark winter. I'm going to just button things up. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.